Welcome to So Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. Now today we are filming on location at the Arthur Murray's Phoenix, but I have with me Maria who dances at the Arthur Murray Temecula. Now what's super cool about this whole arrangement is that I've been attending the Arthur Awards Ball at the Arthur Murray Phoenix location and Maria was being a fabulous inspiration doing um, eight pro-am routines. How many did you do? About six. So, yeah. yeah, six to eight. Now, Maria, you traveled in tonight just mm -hmm. to do the show, correct? Yes. Yes. And you dance with your teacher, Tavio. Yes. And how long have you been dancing? We've been dancing together about six and a half years. Okay, great. And how long did you dance before you started doing competitions? About six months. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> That's not long at all. No, no. Now, had you seen com competitive shows on TV? Did Tavio, your teacher, talk you into it? You know, sort of encourage you to go on out? How did you get started? Well, I really start watching on TV, but also going to showcases and so forth around um, locally. And then I just fell in love with dancing and competition, and mm. it's very challenging. And then having an amazing uh, teacher such as Tavio kind of sort of motivating me to go a little farther right. into, uh, into the dance world. Now, when you did your first routine, did you need a dress? Did you need a competition dress for that first competition or no? Arthur Murray had a back then in 2012 had the rule that newcomers couldn't okay. wear like a, a gown like this. Yeah, so I think that's a good rule like for newcomers. Cocktail. Yes. Yes. And then uh, so it wasn't until so I had to keep dancing <laughs> for another couple of competitions <laughs> so I could wear these kind of dresses that I love because okay. they all blinged out and it's just wonderful. Right. So then your very first dress, how did you go about choosing that first dress? Because there are a lot of options, both mm -hmm. online, custom made. Did you buy used? Did you buy new? I did buy a used one off the rack, but, um, but I, I actually was in person um, during this uh, competition and the vendor was there and so I tried it on. And I fell in love with it because it had feathers and it was red, my favorite color, and has lots of bling as okay. well. So I still have that dress because I fell in love with it. It was like my first love, and so I have a lot of emotional attachment yeah. to it. And and I think a lot of a lot of you women watching this, I'm sure, can relate because so many of you hang on to that first dress because it is. It's the mm -hmm. whole princess feeling. Yeah. It's why a lot of us get into dancing because we want to be able to look and feel differently than we do in real life. Exactly. Yeah. We're going to character. Yes, yeah. it's true. Now, but speaking of character, let's talk about Maria's dress. This dress I did not made, make. I don't have a clue who made it, but I did get, you wore this for Bolero this evening, yeah. correct? Now, have you worn this for, you know, like a, a five dance routine competition for I your have. scholarships and yes. whatnot? Yes. Okay. So, there are quite a few things I really like about this. So just like I do with every blog, I want to walk you through what works, what doesn't work. I actually really love a classic black and white gown. This dress looked fabulous when you were dancing around. Fringe moves really well. Now I round up to 5'1 and wearing heels, we're about the same height. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you are not tall. So yeah. this dress has several really awesome aspects that help her make, that help make Maria look taller. Cause Tavio is what about up here? He's, her teacher's quite a bit taller. So I wanna run you through that first because these key design elements are really crucial. One, she's got a high shoulder that scoops up and then goes a little bit lower. So this immediately, let me have you scooch over a smidge, this long line immediately gives her a little bit of extra height because it just keeps the, the viewer's eye going up, which is good. It continues with this really bold graphic vertical line giving her extra visual height. The fringe continues this because we've got this black handkerchief which is just made of the same fabric as the dress probably a really light stretch crepe fabric. And then fringe, of course, is very vertical. So she's got several key designs here, design elements. We've got one with the asymmetrical, two with the vertical lace, 
three with the handkerchief and four with the fringe that goes on a diagonal. So she has five really strong lines that help you look taller. Mm -hmm. And I need all the help I can get. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, I know that feeling. So I think out of the three dresses you wore this evening, this one makes you look the tallest. And that's why, because it's got those five elements. Um, go ahead and turn around to the back if you would, please, ma'am. Now this is a really fabulous back. Um, on here, now Maria is, you're a grandma, right? I, am. I heard you announce that. So we, as grandmas, we should all look this hot, right? However, if I talk about her body just in the terms of pure physiology and anatomy, she has a fleshy back. So boobs, butts, bellies, and backs are always the problem areas for us as dressmakers. And so she's got a t classic female tummy, classic curve, which we'll come back to on the front, but she has a fleshy back. And this also is my favorite back on you of the three dresses you wore this evening because it's got this really gentle, graceful drape. And what's nice about that is that one, it adds movement. Two, it covers part of the fleshy back. And as it moves, it sort of sways, kind of like the ocean. So it continues to move and expand with it, but yet make her back look very soft and feminine. It is asymmetrical. So it, you know, again, kind of counterbalances this asymmetrical line of the skirt. So this is really fabulous. Um, I also like the one sleeve on, one sleeve off. You, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I say repeatedly asymmetrical lines, as, as a general rule of thumb, cover a multitude of sins because none of our bodies are straight. We're always a little crooked. And so whenever you have an asymmetrical dress such as this, you see the dress. You don't see our bodies. You don't see her body's asymmetries. So turn sideways. Excellent. Okay, there you go. So this if we come back to this lace, it's got, this is actually a really beautiful cotton lace. It could be dyed any color. So if you happen to not like black and white, you could do black and turquoise would be fabulous. Ooh, I love black and blue zircone. Mm -mm, that's nice. You could say so you could dye the lace teal and then put on a ton of blue zircone and blue zircone ABs. So you can do a variety of contrast colors here doesn't have to be just black and white. So think outside the box if you happen to like this idea. It's got some really beautiful jewels on it and some pearls. But, uh, there we go. So the asymmetrical gather, so this soft drape that's super beautiful and graceful comes around and clusters all on the hip. Now this does a couple of really fabulous things. It covers a soft thigh, which a lot of females have, and it also camouflages the tummy because this fabric hangs almost completely straight down from here. Whereas if the fabric tucked tight underneath her tummy, it would make her tummy look more round and sort of watermelon shaped. Whereas if you turn front a little bit more, this is all kind of soft and baggy in here. So there's a built-in leotard. And this is really fabulous because it's darn tough to keep a flat tummy. Yes. <laughs> and so this is really feminine and keeps everything. It looks intentionally soft mm -hmm. as opposed to a dress that's too tight on a soft body. So as far as the design goes, this is really works very well. It's got small gathers up here that sort of counterbalance what's going on on the hip as well as over here. Overall, I really love this. I, I think this is a pretty fabulous dress. It's got a small little cluster of, um, what do we have, jets or mm -hmm. hematites going on up here. So yeah, whoever made this dress, I think this was a good choice. The one thing I would change on this, because this is one of my pet peeves, is I can't stand that this goes badoink and up, <laughs> because this breaks the long line. Because it sort of has a little mountain peak right here and goes back down, It shortens this line and it doesn't keep it as lean looking as that one. So if you were making this dress from scratch, I would make sure that as you made it, I don't think I can fold it under, that this little point was gone. <laughs> so make it so that it just kept that one line going down. 
And that's just one of my pet peeves. It's like having a strap on the back. We all have something that annoys us. That's one of mine. Overall, I think this is great. How do you feel in this dress? It's very comfortable. Yeah. That's one I wear a lot, just because, especially after dinner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yes. yes <laughs> yeah, because they sat there, flat. her teacher judged, and, then, and we had dinner, and then there was some freestyle, mm -hmm. just general dancing. So yes, and, and also, and that brings up a really good point, is that typically, first thing in the morning, we have flatter tummies. Mm -hmm. This is just men, women, everybody. And then as the day goes on, we eat, our intestines get bloated, they get larger and larger and full of food and drink and gases and everything else. And so, this is really Perfect. good. Love yeah, the evening. Yeah, it absolutely Dolce. is. Absolutely is. Thank you so much for modeling. Would you like you. to um, say anything to me? This because literally we just met and I accosted her and said, hey, wait, <laughs> don't you want to be on this blog? <laughs> Yeah, I, I think a dress is incredibly important, even though my, my teacher gets upset at me sometimes when I say we win because of the dress. But I do think a dress makes you feel, you know, mm -hmm. um, in a, a, a different body, in your character playing um, something outside of yourself. And it's such a good yeah. escape from, you know, the world and everything like mm -hmm. that, the roles that you may play in your life, like being a grandmother, being a mother and so forth, and a wife. So, um, but as I love fashion and I think fashion gives you a huge self-esteem and self-confidence. So I think it's also part of the package when you are competing. It so is. It's incredibly important. It is. Because the judges look at everything. Yes, they, they absolutely, oh, and I, I just did a judge or an interview with a judge recently <laughs> and we talked about that very thing. But if I come back to self-confidence, if you wear a dress that you feel good in, that looks good on you, that has a lot of good design elements for your body shape yes. and size, for your color, you, me, we are all going to feel so much more beautiful and confident and therefore perform better, better than if we're wearing a dress that feels like a sausage suit and we feel fat and we can't raise our arms mm -hmm. and all these Absolutely. crazy wonky things. And that's one of the things I talk so much about designs in my blogs because that's that's the key. That's like learning the proper basic and the proper technique in your routine mm -hmm. and building from there. So. Anyway, thank you so thank much for you. being here. It's very thank late at night. Me. I'm gonna quit talking and <laughs> let her go. But if you have enjoyed this video and found value in it, please share it with all of your dancing, skating, sewing friends. And if you have not already done so, please go to sewlikeapro.com. Leave me your name and email address and I'll make sure you always get these tips and any other things that I have coming out. If you have anything you'd like to share about Maria's dress or your own dress experience, please leave a comment below. Meanwhile, thank you so much, Maria, thank for you. joining me. Thanks to her teacher, Tavio, from the Arthur Marie Temecula and to Arthur Marie Phoenix for letting us film on location here. And I will talk to you again another time. Ciao. <laughs> All right, good, we're done. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>